make sure you have a pot of extremely hot water. This is the key to old-fashioned divinity candy. Now friends, the reason why I set this station up is because this is another key to making old-fashioned divinity without failure. Now, before we get into the ingredients, on this red cloth, you will see the utensils that you're gonna need. Make sure these utensils are thoroughly, thoroughly washed. If there is just a spot of oil or a film of any sort, it will make your divinity fail. So that's why I set it up like this, this station. You're gonna need a mixing bowl. Stand mixer is gonna be your friend. You're gonna need a heavy bottom pot. You're gonna need the whisk. You're also gonna need the paddle. You're gonna need a spoon for the syrup and you're gonna need two teaspoons for forming your divinity balls. And in the front here, you will see a candy thermometer. I have marked mine with a Sharpie so it's easy for my eye to see, and we will be bringing this up to Fahrenheit. Now, to my left is gonna be the ingredients. We're gonna have one cup of chopped pecans. I roasted these in a 300 degree oven for about 15 minutes. That's one cup of chopped pecans two and a half cups of sugar, one half cup of light Cairo syrup, one half cup of tap water, two egg whites at room temperature, one fourth teaspoon salt, one and one half teaspoon vanilla extract. Now I will list these ingredients in the description. Good morning, so are y'all ready? Did you get your pen and paper out and write all the ingredients and the utensils that you're gonna need? Guys, when you're making this divinity, as well as a lot of other candies, if you lay everything out, it simplifies the method and you tend not to forget things. But I did forget one thing, this parchment paper. That's what the ingredients was sitting on. Make sure you have parchment paper. You can use a cookie sheet. I don't recommend it. Wax paper, parchment paper, but do not butter it, do not oil it. We're staying away from the butters and the oils. And in that pot that we started the video off on, that is our friend. I kid you not. That hot water is what's going to help us keep our divinity very smooth, cloud-like, fluffy. It's also going to act as a double boiler if my hands don't move fast enough to form all these balls. Now, this should yield about, I'm going to go out there on the 35 to 40, okay? That's what it should yield. Easy, easy, but you need a heavy bottom. Now, years ago, I was taught to make this with a copper bottom pot. I really don't know why. I just know that my Annie Lane, who taught me this recipe when I was, well, I was a young teen and I practiced in and I got really good at it before I was 18 years old. But she said, candy is best made in a copper bottom. Well, mine over years split. I think back in 2010, 2011, it cracked. So this is what I'm using and I've used it and used it and I've had no failure. So I don't know if it was a myth or what, but you don't have to have a copper bottom pot, okay? But you definitely want a stand mixer. 
Back in the day, there was no stand mixer. This was the stand mixer. And let me tell you what, it took two and three of us because you're steadily just beating and beating and beating, and then you're trying to get it all out there. But the trick she showed me was that pot of water. And I thank God every day for that trick. So I am now gonna share it with y'all. I saw the comments from the caramel popcorn. One lady in particular, and I hope you're watching, said, I'm gonna have my pen and paper out. I've never been successful. And what I said to her is I'm gonna say to you, you won't fail this. I promise you won't fail this. Now, we're gonna be measuring temp by Fahrenheit. Remember I told you I put a Sharpie on mine. 260 degrees, okay? That way my eyes see this very clearly. But I'm also very low to the table, okay? So in my altitude, I'm at 260. Some of you that's watching, if you are a thousand to 1500 above sea level, drop it down a degree at a thousand. So you would be at 159. If you're at 1500 feet above sea level, you're gonna be at 158. That is a key to candy making. It has a lot to do with altitude but you're only talking a two degree difference. I mean, majority, 95% of y'all will be at 260 because I don't think many of y'all are at 1,000 or 1,500 feet above sea level. I don't know. I hope people are watching from all over the world, but just remember the recipe is gonna say 260 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're at 1,000, to 1,500 feet above sea level, 158 to 159 is gonna be your sweet spot and it won't fail you. So enough of my rattling, I gotta get this going. I gotta move these cameras. Y'all, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I got a Christmas gift. It's one of them big tripods with the big halo and it's sitting right there. It's got a spot here for a phone, a spot here for a phone. It got a remote. Y'all, it's sitting on the floor in its position. It's standing. But I'm in my old rinky-dink tripod. Because, um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to have to YouTube this. Because every time I put my phone in it, it falls over. So I, I, I didn't put something together. <laughs> so I got to move all of this. I hope the lighting's good. And we're going to the stove, okay? Mixer sitting here plugged in, okay? This is about timing. This is about coffee drinking. And we gonna pray, cause I ain't cutting the camera off. Nope, not happening. Let's go to the stove. Okay, we're on the stove. There's no heat on the stove. I just put my two and a half cups of sugar in my pot. We're gonna pour the half a cup of white Cairo syrup. Remember, there is no heat on this stove. A half a cup of water, half a teaspoon of salt. Now, the first thing we've gotta do is get this well and combined with no heat on. Okay, as you can see, it's well mixed. We're gonna put our stove on medium. That's a five on mine. And we're gonna bring this up to a light bowl. Okay, one stir and done. Now we're gonna add the candy thermometer. Now you do wanna make sure that you're not touching the bottom of the pot. Just gonna angle mine, just, it's a little difficult on this short pot. Perfect. Okay, and we're just gonna watch the temperature. We're sitting on a five. 
This is going to take about six to seven minutes, okay? All right, now we're going to move to the egg whites. I've got my two egg whites sitting in here at room temp. We're going to go on high speed. It's going to take about five minutes. We want a true peak. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, let's take a look. Perfect. This is when we're going to change it out. We've got good, soft peaks. The paddle is going to be your friend from this point forward. Now we're getting close to our mark. I want to show y'all some. <laughs> I bet you some of them vloggers get a hold of this video. They're going to be like, your phone's supposed to go in there. Yeah, I know. But it makes it fall down. So, but at least we got a good light. <laughs> it's a lippy thing. <laughs> Okay, we're at 260 degrees, but I want to show you something. See all this candy? I'm fixing to set it in that pot of hot water and clean it off. Okay, we have our candy here. With the mixer on high, we're going to slowly pour this. It's going to take about two minutes. We're not dumping this. This is going to be a very, very slow stream, okay? So let me get my mixer on. Now that I have poured the candy, because I need y'all to hear me. Sorry, I can't turn this off. This has got to mix a good five minutes. You're going to see it start coming together uh, almost like a marshmallow thicker. But I'm going to set the camera down, and when we get to that point, I will show you. This is strictly on eyesight, okay? You'll see it's starting to come together. It won't have a sheen, like a shiny sheen like it does now. It'll start pulling itself, okay? It's been going about three minutes, but do you see how it's basically streaming? We are not there yet, okay? It cannot make a run. So we're gonna keep beating. You notice the vanilla has not been added, nor has the pecans. If we was to add this vanilla to this hot candy, you would lose your vanilla. Normally I don't stop my machine, but I need y'all to get a visual. You see how now it has come together. We are where we need to be to add the vanilla, as well as the chopped pecans. We're just going to fold this in. I've got to get, the reason why I use the paddle because it's easier to get the candy off. See, I almost let mine go too long trying to time it. It took seven minutes. But, you see this water sitting here? This is why I tell you it's a no fail. Y'all, I want to, like, save this. Okay. Now, you're thinking, what a sticky mess. It comes out clean. You see this? I'm going to actually put it in that water. Right now, I got it in the sink. Now, using two teaspoons. Do you see this? The water will evaporate but it's gonna allow you to grab your divinity. And I almost let mine go too far, so watch. Now I have a double boiler, which is perfect. I don't know if y'all, oh, where's the camera? It's hardening up like almost sugared. See, almost too hard but I can form it together. I just did not want to stop the camera. I wanted y'all to see this, but it's still gonna be good, y'all. I promise. 
I'm just gonna have to use my hands. And it's soft enough, ooh, it's still hot. It's soft enough that it will hold its shape. It's just gonna have a little bit more crystal to it, but that's the key. You don't wanna really stop the mixer, but I know some of you have to have a visual and I'll be making another batch behind this one. So I'm not concerned about it. And of course, you don't want it this crystallized. But y'all, I'm gonna show you when it sets up, it's still gonna be great. And the reason why I've got it sitting on this double boiler over here, that's what's allowing me to pick this up and form some form of shape. Y'all see, I'm keeping this real. I know some people would probably say, oh, I need to do a new video. No, you don't. You keep it real. But really and truly, I should have backed off a minute. So that's about, what, six minutes? But that's okay, because I'm making another batch. Woo! And this is warm on the hands. All right, I'm gonna come in with my little spoon. Get my spoon hot. Shape some more. Now you can make these as, now this is what I need to show y'all right now. You see how that water, um, you see how the water changed it? That's the consistency, okay? That is the consistency. So what I'm gonna do, set this down, watch. Get my spoon really hot. Come in on the side. Watch me burn myself. Oh, yeah. But it's hot now, y'all. But I'm loving that, yes. I can pull this off. We'll just eat these. Nobody will know. I'm still making another batch. So, you see where a couple of hands would benefit? All I got is two. I need four. Well, that one's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna do more with the hot spoon. Yep, just like that. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get all my little balls. I'm not wasting nothing. But you get the gist of it. Okay, I made 34. So I was close with my memory. But I wanna show you something. After I take a coffee break, I will be making a couple of batches because it does go fast because I've gotta give these for gifts, send them to Buddy's job. But I'll only be doing a half a cup of pecans. We like a lot of pecans, okay? But the original recipe does say a half, but in the descriptions, I'm gonna put one half to one cup. That way you have your choice of the amount that you want. But I'm gonna show you something. Okay, remember, I went about a minute past where I needed to be with the starting and stopping, trying to give y'all a visual to do this video, because I know that if I need to learn something, I kind of got to see it. Okay, that was, you see how it crumbled. That was the first before I started using that hot water. Remember, I told you that at the very beginning, this is going to be your saving grace, but there you go. Let me show you. See how it kind of crumbles? That went a minute too far. But it's still just, it melts. I'm not complaining, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you what the one with the hot water did. Let me find one, here's one. Oh, that is so good. Now, like I said, it's a lot of pecans. So you see this? Do you see the difference? You see how fluffy that candy is in there? And this is where it's at. So, these six or seven that I did, I've got them in the corner. I'll eat them. Well, I'm gonna eat all of them. Well, no, I'm gonna share. <laughs> but, 
You saw the visual where I said, okay, we're there. What did I say? I'm, I, I was looking at a clock, six minutes. I would say five. It really depends weather. We're overcast. It's uh, humid outside. I've got the AC on 69. All of this plays a part, but as you can see, even with the elements that we face are going over a minute, you can salvage this with just a pot of water. Now, mind you, I poured that pot of water in that KitchenAid mixer and it all come floating to the top. So it's not a bad mess to clean up. Y'all, this is so stupid good. Mmm. That's that hot water trick. All right. My hands are sticky now. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to hit that button. But I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to get me a couple of pieces. I deserve it. But here is Old Fashioned Divinity. And like I said, a half a cup is in the original recipe from my Annie Lane. I wanted a lot of pecans, so I put a lot in for here. So there you go. The next video we'll do, I don't know. We'll come up with something. A raspberry thumbprint. Oh, oranges in season. Cuties are. What if we do a orange marmalade thumbprint? The grands would love that. They like oranges. They prefer raspberry, but I bet they'll eat that. I don't know. I'll come up with something. But as always, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. And no, it is not the divinity that's still in my mouth. It's these damn nuts. <laughs> See y'all on the next one.